of the children or puppies survived. In other news, what's more dangerous, methamphetamines or cell phones? The answer may surprise you as two new states pass hands-free driving laws. Experts say visual meth use increases chance of death by just under 94%, whereas driving while talking on a cell phone increases it by over 122%. Drivers beware of cops or players and don't keep them at the minute. The ticket is not cheap. In local news, Boy Scouts are aggressive drones as one scoutmaster needs to take a lump out of local breast cancer cases. Excuse me? No. Do you not help with things? Yes. Do you know even the greatest heroes have trouble saving themselves? Yes. Well, the next time, call a damn suicide hotline, because this ain't my damn job. I really need help. Ugh. Can I help you? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm missing something. Happiness? Uh, the MacBook. Okay, so you need to fill out the stolen property report. It's the yellow form right there. But I don't know that it was stolen. I just can't find it. I didn't want to jump to conclusions. So, you think it grew legs and walked away? No. Went and grow some balls and fill out the yellow form. Uh, this one? Yes. Doogie Hauser. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Lucas Waters. Stolen laptop. Okay. When was the uh, item in question last seen? What the hell is this? Uh, recyclable. <laughs> Look, you're new here, and I know you're supposed to be some sort of master of neutrality, but you dumbed down my entire Bluetooth expose. Uh, but it's not supposed to be an opinion piece, Sandra. It's a news story. Okay, yeah, wait a minute. So you're an editor or something? Uh, more like a fact checker. And, uh, what about this Sandra gal? Hmm? You tapping that? Uh, no tapping at the moment. Bummer. So what's the story with this expose thingy? Mob informants indicate the hands-free driving law has less to do with safety and more to do with expensive tickets and price fixing of Bluetooth technology. That's not opinion, that's conspiracy. Which isn't news until it can be corroborated. Sorry, but uh, I have more neutrality to cultivate if I'm supposed to send this out tonight. You know, news doesn't sell newspapers. Stories do. And if you neutralize stories, they lose their meaning. You don't like your job? I'm, I'm good at it. Good at reporting facts while having absolutely no opinion on anything? What next? Oh, uh, I'm, I'm gonna send this out in a few hours. Insurance info. Sandra, did, did you see that? See what? I, I, I just got banged by that car. Oh no. Was it corroborated by anyone?
is still broken. I wouldn't say it's broken, it's just not that warm. You wouldn't say it's broken because that would be admitting something's wrong. What does that mean? Look, my lease ends next week. And while you've implied you want me to move in, you've never said the words. Uh, I've said it's a logical step. Okay, it's not a step, it's a choice. But you don't know how to make those. You know, I know you have a heart in there somewhere. Or at the very least, some balls. If you're ever not too much of a little bitch to use them, give me a call. So that's it? You finally done speaking? That's what I can remember, but I can't figure out when it went missing. You know what I detect? What? Everything. Because I'm a detective. It was a trick question. What I detect about you, Mr. Walters, and just try to take this in the spirit that it's intended, is uh, pussiness. You see, you're afraid to say yes. My laptop was stolen. Yes, I will pursue suspects. Yes, I will take a chance. I will make a stance because no, I am not an indecisive puss. What suspects? Well, for starters, what about this uh, shady coworker with motive? Hmm? Or the uh, hit and runner with the means? Or how about the homeless drunk in public with opportunity? So, what say you? I'm not an indecisive puss. I don't know. Are you? No. That's a great start. Really? No. But if you can please leave, <clears throat> I have actual work to do. anything unusual, I'm missing my laptop. Hey, come here. Did you see something? Can I interest you in a hands-free Bluetooth headset? Uh, no, not, not at this time. Okay. <laughs> Where's my wallet? Can I interest you?
You bang me, I bang you. Oh, so now you want to exchange insurance info. You bang me? I blow you. I have anger issues. Luke? Bethany, listen to me. I'm in deep. I can't believe you called. Do you know you make the first call after a play? Listen to me, baby. I, I, I got heat coming at me. I, I'm in trouble. I made some bad decisions, but, but I learned something. I learned that making no decision is also a bad decision, and I never want to make that bad decision ever again. That's wonderful, darling. Uh, but you should know that I... I, I... I don't know, baby, but that's okay. I, I'm not afraid anymore. I, I don't know if it's hard or if it's balls, but I'm not going to ignore what's right in front of my face. I love you. I love you, too. Did you say there's balls in front of your face? Damn it. Oh, hey, they let you out of the office? Sir, are you aware that it's illegal to talk on your cell phone while operating a motor vehicle in California? Uh, yes, but it was kind of a spur of the moment type of thing. I'm not usually spontaneous. Well, this is usually the moment where I ask for license and registration. But what the hell? You left your wallet back at the station. Hey! I have a hands free violator fleet on foot. I'm gonna need backup. Hey! Get your ass back here! Wallet, man. What about my laptop? I don't have any of your stuff. Then why are you running from me? I am running from you. And who are you? What are you running from? She's your body. Wow. Seriously, how, how much are your insurance premiums? Giovanni, wait. It's not worth it. Sandra? Nice. Hey, shut up, Luke. You're gonna blow the whole story. Nobody's blowing. But me. I should blow you all. Cazzo! So, avete mandato tutto a puttane! One moment. Pronto? Can you hear me now? Oh, can you hear me? And now? Pronto! Police, drop your firearm! What the hell is going on here, Luke? Well, detective... What I detect... is that my co-worker has been working with the mob to create a conspiracy in order to sell newspapers, and she needed my laptop to do it. Now that's what I call corroboration, bitch. Wow, you have no idea what you're talking about. I was this close to confirming the source when the informant sees a Bluetooth dealer who owes him money, and then you come out of nowhere and start bashing his car. You're an over-decisive douche. 
She's clean. Press pass to no personal computing device. Okay, well, what about the Bluetooth dealer? He stole my wallet. You mean the, the wallet you left back at the station? Oh. Kid, go home. Maybe don't take people's advice so blindly next time. Try to find some middle ground. Also, sir, do not talk on your mobile phone while operating a motor vehicle. It could be very dangerous. Here's the ticket. Here you go. Plus, technically, since I had your wallet, you were driving without a license. So here's another ticket, sir. Thank you very much. You have a great day. Wow. That is one messed up day. I mean, you changed the whole way you interact with the world. But it didn't get you anywhere. Oh, well, it got me back with you. Oh, that is so sweet. Oh, um, that reminds me. When I left in that angry rush earlier, I accidentally got your briefcase instead of mine. It was such an inconvenience, too. I mean, I left my hand warmers in there, and it was freezing all day. Anyway... I couldn't be the first one to make a phone call after that whole speech I gave. That's why I was so glad when you finally cut the silence and you made your choice. <laughs> oh! Hot! Where are you? How much longer did you say was on your lease? Along the way, our backs were so low. 